We are watching Hunter's Freestyle Commentary by Coach Chris. And we're going to watch this first round, just normal speed here. Nice glide on that. Nice time breakout. <clears throat> it looks pretty solid as far as um, the head mechanics, body position stuff. Okay. One thing I want to point out. See kind of how you have a nice high elbow, but your hand is too far inside. Too far inside that armpit. And you can see this angle. This is one of the issues with your freestyle, just a little bit too. I'm trying to get this pen. So here we got this. It's just a really, really tight angle for that high elbow and that deep elbow bend. I don't like it to get that tight. For one, it's going to cause your muscles to tighten up. For two, it keeps the hand a little too low. So I prefer more of an open angle. So I'd rather see a high elbow with a op more open angle, more like that, than having it be so bent and the hand so close into that armpit. Okay, you still want to have a little bit longer arm. And you can see right now it's so your hand's so far in, you got to like bend the wrist to the side so that your hand isn't actually dragging the water. You see that bend there? And each of those deep bends, the wrist, the elbow, it's causing half the muscles in your arm to tighten up. And over time, what that means is, one, slower hand speed because they're acting as a break and not being relaxed. And two, it's muscles doing work. Even if they're just being twisted, your muscles are clenching and that work just translates into getting tired. Okay, so let's try to get that elbow up just like you're doing, but keep the hand outside of the armpit don't let it creep in too tight in towards the body you see your right side does kind of the same thing just a little bit too tight in too deep of a bend of that elbow let's go back and take a look at that breath i think it looked pretty good it didn't go back far enough Really nice breath here. Goggle in the water, one goggle out. I mean, that's that's right on. This is what we've been practicing a lot of. It's a really solid job on that breath, staying low to the water. Little glide into the turn, but that usually happens when you do these videos and take all the ropes out. I feel like the streamline's a little loose, but nice glide coming off that wall. Really were patient before taking that first kick. It's another big thing we've been working on. And the head position is really solid. So I like a lot of what I'm seeing. It's just that recovery arm is just too tight in the hand on both sides. When you get that elbow up, you're just keeping the hand too close to the body. Let that arm widen out more. I don't want to see the, the hand that tight in where you're having to bend that wrist to keep the hand from touching the water. So you should be able to have that hand in line with the forearm, nice high elbow, keep the hand more outside of the elbow, not inside, not so, just don't bend your arm so much. You can have a bent elbow, but we want more of an open bend, not such a closed bend. So let's take a look at your stroke underwater and see how you're actually pulling. <clears throat> 